Welcome to this Giftworks video. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to back up your Giftworks Anywhere donor and donation information. Giftworks Anywhere is our hosted version of Giftworks and allows you to use Giftworks from wherever you are and pretty much on any device that you're using. We always encourage you to back up your Giftworks Anywhere, Anywhere information to ensure you have access to it in the event that you need to go back to a previous version or you have some catastrophic problem on your side. Maybe someone deletes a whole bunch of donors by accident or maybe you uh, import information you shouldn't have and you need to go back. And so uh, while we do backup Giftworks Anywhere on a regular basis, meaning every night, you may want to do some backups, especially throughout the day if you're doing anything that might uh, jeopardize the, the correctness of your information within Giftworks. So let's show you how you can quickly and easily back up Giftworks to a safe and secure location. So to get started, I'm going to just start up Giftworks Anywhere. Now, depending on what version of uh, the Citrix receiver you're using, you may start Giftworks Anywhere differently, but needless to say, let's just start up Giftworks Anywhere to get started. Let me just bring this down here, and we're going to go ahead and just sign in to Giftworks Anywhere. So I'm signing into Giftworks Anywhere, and the first place I'm going to go to is the settings area of Giftworks. Some of you may, uh, there is a Giftworks Live feature of uh, Giftworks that uh, you may have a reminder that you need to back up Giftworks, and uh, if you have a link there that brings up a Giftworks Live screen, you can disregard that. You're all going to want to head over. If you're not using our online uh, backup solution called Giftworks Data Protect, if you're not using that, for most of you, you're probably going to want to go to the settings area, go under database files and maintenance, click on manage your Giftworks database, and then click on backup the database. And what this is going to do is create a backup of your GDS file. Your GDS file, it's a Giftworks database storage file, and contains all your donor and donation information. So you're going to click on backup the database. It's going to give you a screen and the first place you're going to do, the first step you're going to do is choose a location to save your Giftworks backup file. So I'm going to choose a location, which is, so I can choose from these files. So the window, the, the uh, folder browser is going to come up where it's going to ask me where I want to store it. And so I'm going to go to my G or my H drive. In this case, I'm going to go to my G drive and I'm just going to put it right in the, what's called the root of my G drive or the base of my G drive. And I'm going to name it. And you always want to do your backup with a name of something like backup, and I'm going to say uh, 2012 0814 of Giftworks. And I'm going to click on backup now. So you provide a location and a name for the backup file. I'm going to click on backup now. And it's going to simply say backup is complete. Now, so I've, I've backed up that file, and it's created what's called a Giftworks backup file or a GBF file. Now I want to go see that. To do that, I'm going to start up my file explorer for Giftworks. And once it starts up, which is right here, I'm going to go to my G drive and I'm going to see that I have this backup 2012-0814-gfworks.gbf. That is my Giftworks backup file and that contains all the information I need to be able to restore Giftworks appropriately if I ever had to do that. Now, one of the things I'm going to do, just because it's good, probably good practice, I'm going to create a new folder and just call this my backups. And I'm going to actually just drag and drop this right down in there so that whenever I need to come back to Giftworks, and if I needed to do another backup, I would simply browse here and put it in the backups folder. It's probably good practice, and I'll just call this 2000 uh, backup 2012-08. Let's pretend this was tomorrow. Giftworks. Click on backup now. It's backed it up. If I go back to my file explorer, I'll see that I have under backups, I have this one from today and this one that would be from tomorrow. So you can see how you can uh, not only uh, back up the file, you, can, you should also, it's probably a good idea to keep them organized on your G drive. Now, one important thing about creating a safe and secure backup is that it's always at a location that, uh, that you understand, that you know, that you're aware of, and that is safe from other elements that may affect it. So keeping it on the back of the Giftworks Anywhere uh, in G drive is, is one step, but another step would be creating a copy of it perhaps locally. So if, you're, if you've watched the Giftworks file, Anywhere file storage video, it's, uh, if you have time, make sure you watch the Giftworks Anywhere file storage video, which shows you all about file storage, it shows you how to import, export, and some of those t the techniques and some of the uh, information there will be helpful. But I'm going to actually copy this to my local computer, and I'm going to copy this to the desktop of my local computer. So I'm going to take a backup file and I'm going to drag it to my desktop and I'm going to let it go right there. And it's going to copy it down and now I can move over 
this recording screen so you can see it, there's my backup file on my local computer. So you see in terms of uh, not only creating a backup file, which is very easy to do within Giftworks, but then making sure for Giftworks Anywhere that you move it to your local computer. That way you have a copy up on Giftworks Anywhere and you have a copy on your local computer just in the event that something were to go wrong. So that's just a kind of a quick overview on how you um, back up Giftworks Anywhere and then how you ensure that it's safe and secure by copying it to your local computer to make sure that you have a safe copy. Now, for those of you who were ever interested in restoring, you would probably want to go the same, you probably want to go in reverse. If you had a copy on your local computer that you wanted to restore, you'd want to use the uh, File Explorer for Giftworks to move it from, let's say, your desktop. You'd want to, let's say, you wanted to restore this file. You would simply take it and you would drag it perhaps back to your G drive. So I'm going to do that right there. And now I see that I have this backup restored right here. And now I can go into Giftworks and say restore the database. I can browse for the file that I want to restore under the G drive. And I see it, there's my GBF file, my rest it's my Giftworks backup file that I want to restore. I can provide a location where I want it to go. I'll put my on my G drive. And I'll just call this my restored Giftworks info and click on restore. And okay, it was restored. And now if I open up my file explorer, I'll see that I have this restored giftworksinfo.gds file. So that's just a quick overview on how to use the backup and restore capabilities within Giftworks Anywhere to not only be able to create the backup and then to be able to restore it, but also to ensure that you have a safe and secure copy by moving it from Giftworks Anywhere down to your local computer. I hope that's helpful and hope that helps you have peace of mind as you use Giftworks Anywhere and Giftworks. Thanks for watching.